I'll do a little short video driving it. This, uh, this car sat in the collection for a while, and uh, the more we drive it, the happier it is, which is very common. Um, as I mentioned before, the instruments uh, are working uh, quite well, and there's the more accurate uh, auxiliary uh, temperature gauge. Don't want to hit that car. The transmission shifts nice and smooth. Yeah, the oil pressure is really good. And the speedometer and odometer and trip odometer all work. Uh, it has um, auxiliary blinkers. Uh, because in 38 they didn't have blinkers. Uh, so right to the right here are the uh, turn signals. Carrie tries really hard to knock me off the running board. She's really good. Pretty easy to drive overall. Um, we we're gonna rebuild the carburetor. This is a little bit grumpy, <laughs> but it runs cool. Good oil pressure. There's a auxiliary temp gauge over there, and she handles well. As you can tell by Carrie's spirited driving. So I personally love town cars. I think they are so completely misunderstood because you have both a, um, a formal limousine and a convertible. And so I just don't understand uh, why, why people aren't just in love with town cars. I know uh, people, you know, large collectors like the Custlers, you know, I understand them. You know, I think Bill Hara did, Nethercut. Um, anyway, I just, I, I love town cars. Good job. That's almost a, that's almost a U-turn in this baby. I'm going to stop. Very good. So I love, I love the uh, interior here. I mean, it's just beautiful. I feel like I, I should be being chauffeur driven to the opera or something. <clears throat> Invariably, the original owner uh, did exactly that with her chauffeur.